Hello and welcome to Tizo Guitar. If you're new here, my name is Tyler Griffiths, I go by Tizo, and this channel is all about learning guitar with a special focus on R&B music. In today's lesson, I'll be showing you how to play Lost Without You by Robin Thicke, a personal favorite of mine. The good news is there's only a handful of chords in this song, so you should be able to learn it in one sitting. All right, you know what time it is. Go ahead and grab your guitar and let's get to it. Okay, so this song's in the key of C major, and we only need to know a total of six chord shapes to play along. The first is D minor seven on prep five. G7 on fret three. C major seven, also on fret three. F major seven, still on fret three. Then we have this D minor triad. We're gonna be moving this shape around, but I'll show you that later. In any case, the first one's on fret three. And our final chord is A minor seven on fret five. I know that was a bit quick, so here's all those shapes for you one more time. Feel free to pause the video here and get comfortable with each shape before moving on. All right, now let's learn the progression. The main progression for the song is pretty much four chords with a little turnaround riff in between. So let's start with that. We're gonna be starting on our D minor seven. Moving on to our G seven. Then C major seven. and then F major seven. All right, try and play that with me. D minor seven. G seven. C major seven. F major seven. All right, now, every time we go through that loop, we have this little turnaround section where we're using this little minor triad, this D minor triad. We're gonna grab it and then we're gonna move it up chromatically, which really, really just means one fret at a time from fret three to fret five. So we're gonna play D minor triad. We're gonna play a D sharp minor triad. And then we're gonna play an E minor triad. So we're taking that exact same shape and we're just moving it up one fret at a time. And that's our turnaround. So let's try and put that in with our loop. So D minor seven, G seven, C major seven, F major seven, and now our little turnaround riff. All right, so that's pretty simple. Now we have to go ahead and add in that strum pattern. So the strum pattern is very simple, but it involves a lot of muting. Okay, so we're gonna be playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's that kind of that kind of speed. Da 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 da. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna be releasing the chord or relaxing my grip. My fingers never leave the strings, but they do stop pressing the strings down to the frets, and that will mute it out. So I play really short. You play and then you release your grip. So we're gonna go da 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 da. A little bit slower. Da, 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 da. And you can kind of see I'm like pressing my fingers down each time that I have to play the actual chord. And we're gonna use that same strum pattern or picking pattern uh, for the other chords. So on to G7. And then on to C major seven. The F major seven, we're only doing half as long. We're just doing da, 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 just one time. And then we incorporate our little turnaround. So one time, let's do it together slowly. All 
right? And it just repeats like that for the majority of the song. So all we have left is just to learn the little bridge section. Very short and very simple. You can just do single strums for this. So we're gonna start off by playing an, uh, an F major seven. And then we're gonna play a D minor seven. And then we're playing that last chord that we haven't used yet, which is our A minor seven. Which you can play in many different ways. I play with my thumb over. You could just bar the whole thing. Or you could put your ring finger down. In any case, I'm not playing the A. So the whole bridge, very simple. F major seven. D minor seven. A minor seven. And then there'll be a little, uh, little riff or a little melody line that goes on with the guitar, the other guitar. And then it goes right back into the main progression. So back into. So on and so forth. So with those two parts, that's all you need to know. Hey everybody, Tizo from the future here. While I was editing this video, it occurred to me that some of you may actually want to learn that little line that takes us out of the bridge. So I thought I'd hop on and show you how to play it. We're going to be playing uh, from frets 5 to 8, and we're really using the A natural minor scale for this. So there's a pattern where we play two notes, and then we go to an, another set of two notes, but the uh, last note that we play in each set is the first note from the previous line. Very confusing, let me show you exactly what I mean. So we're gonna start off on fret seven of the high E string. Then we're gonna go to fret eight. Next, we're gonna go fret uh, five on the high E. And then back to fret seven. So there's a little repeating line right there. So it's. And you can see we're ending up on the uh, first note of the two that we started. We're gonna continue in this pattern. We're gonna to go to the B string, fret eight. Then we're gonna go back to fret five on the high E. And we're gonna to go to the B string, fret six. Then fret eight. Then fret five. Then fret six. Then we're gonna jump over to the G string and play fret seven. Then back to the B string, fret five. Then we're gonna to go to the fifth fret of the G string, seventh fret, and then back to the fifth fret. And that's the whole line. So let me show you that again very slowly. Try to follow along. faster. All right, so give that a try if you want to, but just make note of the fact that when you play this note, that last fret five of the G string note, that note is ringing out at the exact same time as you're supposed to come back in with that D minor seven. So you may opt to kind of play it like this. Just jump right back into but that's your choice it is played with two different guitars so kind of play it however you think it can work for you that's all for this lesson if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos your engagement with these videos is what keeps the channel alive and growing so even leaving a comment to say thank you for the lesson goes a long way and i greatly appreciate it if you love this style of music and you're looking for more personalized instruction, I do offer private lessons on Zoom. Check out the description below for more details. And if you have a request for a topic or a song that you'd like to see me cover on the channel, there's also a link in the description where you can put your requests in. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep practicing, keep growing, and take care.